Hi, my name's Ed Castile. I'm with Magnolia Fly Fishers, and today we are here to tie a sow bug scud imitation as part of our uh, fly tying course with Magnolia Fly Fishers. This is for our basic uh, flies that you need to go fish the White, uh, White River uh, water system over in Arkansas, which also includes the North Fork. Today we're going to tie on a uh, scud or a sow bug hook. This is a TMCO 2487 in a size 14. Typically for Arkansas, I tie 16s or 18s, but we're going to use a larger one for demonstration purposes. To get started, first thing we're going to do is we're going to mash down the barb. You can either do it in your vise or with a pair of pliers. We're going to mount the hook. The other items that we are going to use today are uh, dubbing. The particular color we're going to tie today is olive. The common colors in Arkansas are olive and gray along with, with tan. And um, if you can pick it up in the video, you'll notice that it's not a solid or a mono color. It's, it's a multi-color. Even though it is olive, it does have gray, tan, and some brown mixed in with it. So that'll be the dubbing that we use. We will put on some uh, lead to get this fly down a little bit. Uh, I use lead that's uh, the, about the size of the hook or slightly smaller. I like my uh, sow bugs and scuds to be a little bit skinny. This is 15 thousandths on the lead we'll be using today. We will then uh, rib the shell back and you can use different things for the ribbing. What I'm using today is um, some mono that is nine thousandths thick, which is I believe around a 2x or a 3x tippet. This just happens to be some four pound mono that I'm using. Um, the sow bugs are very translucent, so uh, I like to use things that give the appearance of uh, being translucent, which is why I use the mono. Uh, some people like to make the ribbing pronounced, uh, so they will use copper wire or some other color uh, like silver on a gray. And this is the small uh, UTC wire. We will not be using that today, but I wanted you to see an option to the ribbing. And so we're, the, we're going to get started here in just a second, but the thread, this is a 6 aught uh, Danville thread. 6 aught is um, a, one four, or a 140 uh, denier. And we're going to start out by laying down a thread base and then attach our lead. So let's get started. Now on this fly, a good thing, a good thing about this fly is that uh, it's pretty forgiving in your tying skills as long as you do a few things accurately. On the thread base, you uh, just really need to get something laid down so that the lead will bite in uh, and doesn't slide around your... Uh, hook. I'm going to take the lead and I add in around 10, 10 wraps. You can adjust that depending on how much weight you want, whether you're going to be fishing in slow water, fast water. Um, Once you get the lead on, notice that it's positioned in the middle and you got plenty of room up towards the front here to tie off a head later. Start by building a thread dam at the front and the rear of the lead so it does not slide around on the hook. Okay, and then to lock this in a little bit, you can take a few wraps back and forth. Kind of lock it in. Whatever your preference or your patience is on how much thread you want to put on there, that's up to you. And we're going to let that hang there. Next thing we're going to do is tie in whatever your ribbing material is. Today we are going to use the uh, mono. Now the mono is a little bit slick, so you'll want to make sure you get a good little tag there tied in 
so it doesn't pull out. 